Hey everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about the books that I'm hoping to read during the month of January. I'm very excited because last year was last year, okay? Doesn't matter what happened. Doesn't matter I had a reading slum on and off for months. I did still find favorites, but I feel like January is going to be my month because we're starting the month with a reading vlog where I read your favorite books of the year. And I already started one. I bought a couple during my last book haul and I was not planning on reading the first one in a reading vlog because it's thick. But I'm enjoying it so much that we're gonna sneak it in. And it is The Will of the Many. And this is also our Patreon book club for the month of January. We voted. Uh, you can't see my post-it because that's... <laughs> Honestly, we, we, we know which one did this. Uh, and you can see it did a good job. So I started it. I'm about 200 pages into it. That's where the vlog will start for uh, the best book that you've read. And so far, I'm really enjoying it. That's why I wanted to sneak it in, okay? Uh, I'm really enjoying it. This is an adult fantasy series. I looked it up, and the author's not sure if it's going to be three or four books, so it's a thick one. Uh, it is Roman Inspire. It seems to be like epic revenge story uh, prince that his nation got. And he's now in hiding, uh, and the hierarchy, which is the other nation, uses will, which is magic. I believe there's going to be magical school. I'm just so far really enjoying it, so I can't wait to see if it's going to be a five star for you because a lot of you told me that this was your best book of 2023. So that's the first first one I will be picking up because I already started it. The other two that are also supposed to be in that vlog are this one, which is Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone. This is a murder mystery that apparently the narration, uh, the tone is supposed to be funny. I feel like funny in general can be so hit and miss, but I'm excited. I feel like something a bit lighter, a bit more fun might be good. It's not too thick because of the tone. I feel like that should be fairly quick. I have not been lucky. <laughs> Let's just say it with mystery thriller. I should be even more honest and say that I have been not enjoying at all <laughs> anyone's recommendation, especially the Goodreads one. So we're hoping that this is going to change my mind about the genres and I can finally say I do like them, not just 5% of the time. So very optimistic. And then the last one that I will include in that vlog is going to be this one. This is Emily Wilde's, the word I can't say, of fairies. Um, encyclopedia. Look at me. Uh, when it's the same word in French, I can't say it in English. But I just did. This is supposed to be cozy fantasy, which has been a big discovery for me. Last year, I've read so many, really enjoyed most of them. And I'm in the mood. I feel like it's winter. Today's sunny, but it has not been sunny <laughs> for months. Uh, so I I'm in the mood to read something. You're following this woman. She goes and study fairies in a small town. I believe like grumpy people and like hopefully she'll make some friendships. And I'm 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 exactly in that mood. So hopefully, once again, this is gonna be five star. I believe these two again were some of your favorites of 2023. So I'll do that vlog. We're hoping for the best. We're hoping I'm gonna find at least one of them will be five star. And in that vlog, you can also leave me more recommendations, maybe some like all-time favorites. I'll do more because like I said, I am in need of five star. We need to start the year, you know, on the right foot. Speaking of which, I about died. Uh, you can't really tell because there's no cover yet. Uh, I believe there's this one. I don't know if it's the official one. Uh, this is the last murder at the end of the world. It says unknown. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's Stuart Turton. I really enjoyed the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I read it so quickly after it came out because at that time I was really obsessed with people for living their day or their lives over and over and that's basically murder mystery with that trope. And then I read his other book that came out, The Devil and Ball. It was fine. It was fine. And this one, the premise sounds really interesting, although complicated. <laughs> Essentially, everyone on the planet, uh, there's this fog that is just killing everyone and the remnant of humanity is stuck on an island and someone is murdered and then there's a murder mystery time limit otherwise everyone dies y you get the idea so i'll be able to tell you more <laughs> of what it is once i've read it but i am just so excited it's coming out soon but i have an arc i, I didn't mention that this is the excitement okay this is an advanced reader copy so i'm reading it before it's out and i will let you know if it's worth it or if it's worth it and we're hoping it's going to be worth it <laughs> 
I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling. So I mentioned how I have been in the mood to read some cozy ones. So I decided to pick up this one too. I've been buying once in a while some self-publish. I used to never do that. But this one, Call My Name, a uh, really gorgeous cover. A few of you actually told me that this was worth it. And I remember joking because this is the bookshop in The Barbarian. I think this is the one that was inspired by Legends and Lattes. I remember saying that I didn't think I was ready to read in the book with the word Barbarian on the cover because I read I Slam and Barbarians because of you. And it was painful, really funny of a vlog, but painful. And uh, this isn't quite the same thing. I believe this is an adult standalone fantasy. And yes, it's gonna be probably fireplace, bookshops, and just cutesy stuff, which again, January, depression. It's only been 200 pages, so just a cute little thing. Ooh, I did mention our classic for Patreon for the month of January, February, March. This year we're extending it a little bit. Uh, I'm feeling the burnt out of the classics. I have a video coming up. You'll see January is like a catch up month for me. I feel like I've been posting so many videos. I was feeling the burnt out a little bit. So we're catching up throughout the month. There's no rush. But the book that we're going to be reading for those three months is this one. This is The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. This is more of a modern-ish classic, but we're allowing it. We're all very excited to have our hearts broken. I believe this one, is it about, a, yes, a young black girl, and she wants to be pretty, but obviously the other children are mean to her because she's dark skin, her hair, and everything. So I am really preparing myself for the tears. I might not pick this up in January because, again, I, I just said, today's sunny, but like it hasn't been, and it's been really dark in Canada. So I might keep this for March, but we are reading this. This is our first classic. I'm excited. I feel like more modern classic is nice. Plus you get to actually read from authors of color. So black author. I have heard so many great things about her and I have a couple of her books actually on my shelf and a lot of you told me that this is like your favorite. So we're starting with that one. Uh, I do want to read some nonfiction too. I have a video once again coming up because it's going to be my third year where I where I officially try to read more nonfiction. I feel like 2022 was a fantastic nonfiction year. Last year was okay. And we're starting, hopefully, the year on the right foot. This is Bullshit Job, which, cool title, come on. I did read the intro, which I don't think that that counts to put it on what I call my pile of shame, right? The books that I started and never finished. I got really distracted with nonfiction towards the end of the year. I was feeling too burnt out. And I I'm at chapter one now. So that's where I'm at. As you can guess from the title, this is about how under capitalism, a lot of people have really useless jobs that exist just to force us to be stuck doing boring, repetitive things to keep us busy um, and poor. <laughs> it, it's a joyful little read, I'm sure, but I have been really enjoying reading a few pages a day for certain classics. <laughs> Maybe it will become a classic, uh, but certain nonfiction, and I feel this is going to be the perfect kind of book for that. So we're starting, you know, with something not too heavy for the year. And then if I have time... Um, I would like to start this series. If not, it's going to go in March because February is going to be my one week, one shelf challenge. But I want to read some sci-fi. I love sci-fi. I haven't been reading that many of them. And uh, I don't remember the title. Is it the Doomsday series? The first book is Doomsday Book. And then the second one is To Say Nothing of the Dog. I know they're about time travel. And I believe I can start with anyone. But I might start with the first one. Um just because, you know, brains. So that's on my list. I really want this to happen in 2024. Whoa, it is weird. Now audiobooks, because that is important. Uh, one that I just, just started, like I'm not even 3% into it, um, is The Other Bennett Sister. I'm really excited for this one because it's inspired by Pride and Prejudice, obviously, but you follow Mary. And a lot of you actually also told me that you really enjoy that book. So I feel like this kind of counts for like reading your favorites. But I feel like she's never the important sister in the story and she feels really neglected and I feel like my opinion of her has really flip-flopped throughout my whole life. I grew up watching the BBC adaptation so I feel like she wasn't well liked. I feel like she was again definitely neglected so I think it's going to be interesting to see the story through her eyes and hopefully she will be happier. The audiobook is like 18 hours so I don't know how many other audiobook I will <laughs> listen to but the next one I decided to pick up a romance because I'm just so divided about the genre in general and everyone seemed to be again divided about this specific duology. I believe this was the Goodreads winner which whatever but book one is part of your world and I believe book two won last year for the best romance 
And again, people were dividing which one I could start with, blah, blah, blah. So I decided to go with book one. The waiting list was very short and I already have access to it. So I'm going to try to listen to that soon and we'll see if I'm into that or not. You never know. And then the other one I really want to get to is When the Crows Away, which is book two after uh, In the Company of Witches because it's a cozy murder mystery fantasy witches small town. Listen, I really enjoyed book one, took me by surprise because that cover was painful. I know a lot of you like it. I found it super painful and book two is no different. But at this point, because I like the book, I don't mind it as much. I still think it's painful. <laughs> but like in an endearing way right now. So we'll see if I, I still feel like that was I'm done. But I don't know how many other audiobooks I will have time to listen to because they're quite long. I'll update you in my wrap up. But those are kind of the ones that are really eye up. Oh, I'm seeing Cackle, which I think is also witchy, funny. We're seeing a pattern, okay? I'm fully back into fantasy and witches. I love them. So we'll see. I have so many. I have like 30 on my waiting list. So We'll see. And last but not least, I think I'm only gonna do two vlog in January because like I said, I need to catch up. I have so many videos to post and I don't want to feel burnt out anymore like December. November, December, I went a little too cuckoo, but obviously I need to do my read it or unhaul it challenge, which is probably the, gonna be the only part where I'm not focusing on reading books I think I'm gonna give a star to. So we'll see how that goes. I might find a five star. That would be ideal. And if that doesn't happen, I might get rid of a bunch of books from my shelf. Also, there is a video coming up of me reorganizing my bookshelf. They're a complete mess right now, but yes, we're gonna start my... But that's it. These are all the books that I'm hoping to read in January. I do think I'm gonna have a fantastic time. I'm already having a fantastic time listening to The Other Bennett Sister and then with The Will of the Money. We'll see if you have good taste. I'm leaning towards yes right now. So as always, thumbs up, subscribe. We'll put more videos on the screen. I would definitely check those out if I were you. And I will see you in all those catch-up videos very soon. Bye. <laughs>